Okay, so in this question we have a 10, a 10 kilogram object of some sort. And it's being pushed to the right by someone with a force of 30 newtons, and it's being pushed down with a force of 20 newtons. And the question is, if there is 25 newtons of friction, what's going to be the magnitude of Fn, and what's going to be the acceleration of the box? Okay. Any grade 12 students, of course, could make this question a lot harder by just saying, what if mu is 0.1, and ignoring the 25? Good practice for your chapter 5 test. <clears throat> Back to the question at hand. What is the acceleration and the normal force? Obviously, the first thing we do is draw a freaking big free body diagram. So we have a 10 kilogram object. Is there gravity on it? Yeah, of course. And it's down, and it's equal to mg, which I happen to be able to do in my head, is 98 newtons. What other forces are there? This thing is on a surface. It's on the ground, so there's going to be a normal force. I don't know how big it is, so I'll leave it as a question mark. What other forces are there? Well, there's an applied force to the right. I really always like to draw my applied forces, my forces coming out of the free body diagram so I don't make any silly mistakes. Fa, I'm going to call that 30 newtons. Another force, there's a 20 newton force down. If I call that Fa, I might get confused with all these Fa's, so I'm going to call that Fb. I could have called them F1 and F2. FT and F, no. Okay, so the point, uh, point C force, FB is down. Are there any other forces on there? Obviously, I guess there's friction because it's 25 newtons. Which way is friction going to be? Not too hard. This thing is going to slide to the right if friction lets it. Friction will fight that, so friction will be to the left. This thing is going to accelerate to the right. How do I know it's going to accelerate to the right? How do I know it's going to accelerate that way? It's not going to accelerate you know, that way. There's someone pushing right and there's someone pushing down. We want to go down to the right. I'm assuming that it's not going to like sink into the floor. It's not going to be pushed very hard. It's going to slide across the floor. So it's going to be like that. So what is the x direction equation going to say? The x equation is going to say Fa, which is positive, Fa minus Ff, Ff's negative, equals Fa. And what's the y direction equation? Remember, I do all these things every question, regardless of what the question is. I draw a free line diagram with all the forces. I define x and y. I make my x and my y equation. And then I ask myself, what am I actually trying to do? The y equation is going to say Fn. Fn is positive. Fg is down and has negative. Fb is down. And that equals 0. It doesn't equal MA because A is that way. It is not accelerating up or down. So all the Y forces have to add up to zero, for sure. So now what am I trying to find? I'm trying to find the acceleration. So I'll look back up here and I'll see the acceleration is equal to FA minus FF over M. We could pretty much do that in our heads. Could it be 30 minus 25 divided by 10? I hope we can because I don't have a calculator. That's 5 over 10. 0.5 meters per second squared, and I better put a direction in there so my teacher doesn't get upset. The acceleration is 0.5 meters per second squared to the right, and the normal force here, let's rearrange this for Fn, is going to be equal to Fg plus Fb. Yet another example where the normal force is not equal to gravity, and that's a common mistake people make on the test, is they'll just say, oh, Fn is 98, G is 98, and then I'm not sure what they're supposed to do with any of the rest of the questions. But that happens, so 98 plus, what's that be? 20 newtons? 98 plus 20 is 118. 118 newtons. I guess I should put up. I would, though, like to take one second to dedicate this video to one of my students, a student named Ruth, who, upon watching my energy videos, told me that I was clearly um, over life. <laughs>